Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 8th. Thanks for checking out Top Story. I'm Michelle Schlaven, stepping in for the Big Bash. And how about you take the next step to World Watch and enjoy stories like Caleb Bailey taking up pickleball? Then he's not alone. Plus, the exploration of the richest shipwreck leads to two more nearby. Now, this is Top Story. The UK is trying out a four day work week. Oh, and before I tell you about that, I should mention that the UK Parliament nearly gave Boris Johnson a zero day work week you, as he narrowly Thank survived a no confidence coming. vote by his own party. Yeah. Conservative party members held a vote on whether the Prime Minister is fit to hold his position. In what amounts to a rebellion within his own party, 40% of them said, He's not, but they needed a majority to force resignation. So Johnson will continue in his role. And therefore, I can announce that the parliamentary party does have confidence. I think it's a, an extremely good, uh, positive, conclusive, decisive result. Back to Britain's four-day work week. It's the beginning of a trial run for 3,300 workers from 70 different companies. They range from financial services to restaurants. Workers won't get a pay cut, but they will only work 80% of their full work week in exchange for a promise of 100% productivity. Now, whether companies get the same work output in fewer days, now that's the question, but that's why it's a trial run. Similar trials will start in the US and Canada later this year. Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show for free. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Michelle Schlaven. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you tomorrow.